Hi, and welcome back to Guitars in the Attic. Mark meets guitars. I've literally just popped in on a wee bit of a break, and um, I've spotted this on the shelf. Well, it took my eye because of the, I didn't, I hadn't a clue who the make was or anything. But it's a custom build, a chap in Nottingham, um, so it's quite local to us. Paul Tune, and this is a, a PT Jumbo. Tuned it up, and it's just, it's absolutely glorious. It's beautiful. It gets such a personal touch when it's a custom build that you don't so much get from something that's in a factory. Um, so it's lovely. Spec wise, master. Grade mother walnut back and sides, a master grade Engelman spruce top, walnut bindings, Andorran mahogany five piece neck. You can see there. Um, I have to say, it's absolutely it's gorgeous, it, it really is. Um, we'll do some sort of close up of it later so we can get a good look at it. It's just, yeah, it's lovely. So I'll, I'll get a wee play and see what you think. It's dead easy to play. It's, you can tell that this has been built by somebody that just knows how to make guitars really, really well. Spent years crafting things. There's no sharp edge anywhere. Even with guitars that are similar price to this, we shan't name any names because it's no fair. But when things come from a factory, you, they, they tend to just have something that's not quite right about them. But when it's something, when it's a master build by a luthier, these things are, they're their pride and joy. So you get a different level of attention to detail. And this is just, yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful guitar. Lovely Carl, and what a guitar. Yeah, beautiful. It's just super. I think given the fact that it's brand spanking new, this guitar will sound, get a, get a year, a couple of years to open up, it'll just be like, ah, oh, so beautiful and round.
Oh, it's a lot of lovely. Absolutely love it. I like it when you pick up a new instrument that's something you've never played before, it's a guitar I've never ever touched, and you just try different stuff to see what things you might, I mean I know we're on camera and it's red light and it's been pressed, but as I always kind of do a lot of the guitars is find out, does it make me want to play something different, do I want to come up with a, a different sort of song in my head that it wants me to play, and straight away this does, man, it's got so much tone and... I think guitar players get very sort of anal about a badge that's on the top of a guitar. We do, that's what we're like, you know, but it's like, would you go play a Phoenix copy strap? Probably not, you know what I mean? Did you feel a bit weird playing one? Yeah, you would. I think players that are of a level, they just want something that sounds incredible. It's just, I can't begin to, I, 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 I want to absolutely, like, freight the thing and get stuck into it, but I'm like so nervous about putting any wee bit of a dent, a scratch, a buff or anything on it, because I think after I've played it, it's going to hang on the wall. <laughs> don't touch that guitar, please don't touch that guitar. That's the holy grail. There's a lot of expensive makes of guitars behind me and uh, it'd be very difficult for them to come up against this, you know. In the room, everybody's just went, that guitar's incredible, and it really is. You know, it's a special, special, special sound and acoustic, and it plays incredibly well. There's just not a dead spot anywhere. Yeah, come and give it a try before I get another guitar away. <laughs> See you later, all the best. <laughs>